This is just Fake Network TV, a home of accurate news and current news. For those who subscribe, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you. And if you're here to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Buhari to Danjuma. Your criticism of my government, one man opinion. The President Major General Muhammad Buhari has dismissed the claim by a former Minister of Defense, General T.Y. Danjuma. The Nigeria under his watch is in deep rot. Danjuma had, at a recent event in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital scored Buhari low in governance and anti-corruption war, claiming that Nigeria under the retired general's watch is in a big hole. He had said that most Nigerians would be seriously disturbed if he declared what he knew about what was going on in Buhari's government. While speaking at the University of Ibadan during a book launch, Danjuma was quoted but to have said, in Yoruba land, everybody seems to have lost their voices, scared, and people appeared not to care about what is happening. If I tell you what I know is happening in Nigeria today, you will no longer sleep. So, Chief Ayo Adeban just warning and advice are very timely. If you want details, I will give it to you privately. We are in a big hole as a nation, and people who put us in this hole have continued today. So, we have to wake up. Only we can save ourselves. But Buhari, in an interview, he granted the current edition of the interview magazine, said he cared less about Anjuma's comment, not noting that the ex-minister's comment was a one-man opinion compared to the majority of people whose vote he journeyed to return as president for a second term in 2019. Buhari said, and what is the vote of confidence of Nigeria in me, as expressed in the polls last year? That is what matters more, not the opinion of one man. Buhari, in the interview, also then said the relationship between him and the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo is perfect, despite the perception in certain quarters that there may be a cold war between the two. He also denied the existence of a Kaaba in his regime, said to be detecting the pace of governance in the country. Asked about his relationship with Oshibajo, he simply replied, perfect. Or, oh, as he complained to you, thank you very much. On the alleged existence of Ikaba, Buhari said, I addressed this matter before. I was the one who went around the country on campaign, and I was the one who voted into office as president twice. No one else did, and no one else took the hold of office and can exercise the power of president. When asked whether some of the actions of his regime were not in direct opposite to his claim of being a reformed Democrat, Buhari said he did not expect critics to praise him. According to him, his satisfaction is that Nigerians have confidence in him as expressed during the last polls. You call them critics. If they are critics, you would hardly expect them to jaland me. Rather, they would look for things to try and demarket me. But I am glad that as they do that, millions of Nigerians know who their president truly is. And they have made it clear in 2015 and 2019 presidential election, all countries, including the whole democracies, must maintain law and order. If you look around the world, our policing operations are as restrained as any he had it. The president also spoke on the decisions of Punch title to prefix his name with Major General because of some of the anti-democratic actions of his regime. He said, Am I not a retired Major General of Nigeria Hami? I didn't just pick the rank in the street. I hate it, Buhari said. He clarified a comment he made in March last year after winning the election that things will be tough in the next four years, explaining that the mini was treated, treated to make it look like he promised to make things harder for Nigerians. I meant tough in terms of decisions we would take and which we are now taking and not in terms of hardship for the people. But those who love to twist everything attempted to change the meaning 
But we are glad that those who know, really know, no good leaders should wish his people tough times at any time he had it. Wow. So my viewers, what is your own take about this? Because look at what he's saying that uh, there are no crises in Nigeria, that everything is perfect. He even said that uh, the relationship between him and Vice President Yemi Oshibajo is perfect. And he now put a clause that despite the perception in certain quarters that there may be a good war between the two. So obviously, there is something going on between Mr. Muhammad Buhari and Oshibajo that is not yet revealed to the public, you know. And he was saying that uh, there is nothing like Kabaras, there is nothing like people that, has di that are directing his government right now. You know, he, even, he said he addressed the matter before. You can imagine this. But we still believe that something is, something is wrong somewhere else, that there is somebody that is really undone it, making decisions for Mr. Muhammad Buhari. If not, why is our government like this? Why is Nigerian system going in the wrong direction? Why are those things happening in Nigeria right now? If there is not nobody else directing him, you know, look at everything that is going on in Nigeria, the insecurity, the killings, and so many bad things that are happening right now. And still our president said there is nothing going on, everything is perfect in Nigeria, you know. And uh, according to uh, Danjuma's statement, I believe that this guy, Danjuma was actually saying the truth, Danjuma is actually writing what he was saying. Because a lot of things are happening in the country that needs to be settled, that needs to be resolved. But it looks as if our president did not admit that Nigeria is in big mess right now. Our president did not admit that Nigeria is facing a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, a lot of problems right now. And that is where the prop that is where we, what we are talking about. As a leader, when, when, you, when you are a leader and you did not admit the fact that this thing is happening to your followers, that means there will not be any solution. You can imagine this. you. So guys, it's just so hard. When we, if you continue to talk and talk, we will not finish today because it's just so sad to hear we Nigerians going through all this trial, all these things in our country. So guys, can they drop your comments at the comment section below? And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And for those who subscribe, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you. And God bless you for subscribing. Bye.